Hi, welcome back to Hookin' a Lifestyle. Debbie here. Today I have a tutorial for this skirt. This is a Santa skirt. I'm gonna call this one because that's what it was meant for. It was a little Santa outfit that I was asked to make for a little girl that is two months old. So I only have this size. I don't know. I only made the size, just so you know. But if you want to make it bigger, um, I'm gonna link down below a couple of measure, measuring charts that I found on Pinterest for the waist size and the length and all that for a to to make a skirt for a baby or a child. So I will put that down below. So this one is gonna be for a baby. Like I said, she's two months old, and these measurements are for zero to three months the waist size and i made it a little smaller than what it requires because it's as you can see this is stretchy the yarn stretches so so yeah so anyway i'm gonna be using red heart super saver in the color lavender and white for this one because i don't want to make it the same color and then of course you're gonna need two buttons um a pair of scissors I'm gonna be using an H hook, which is a 5.0 tapestry needle to sew in those ends. And we're just gonna get started right away. And in the next video, you're gonna get the instructions for the little baby booties that go with the skirt. So to begin our work, we're gonna start with the white yarn. This is gonna create the top part of the skirt. So we're gonna start from here and work our way down. So we start from here and work our way down. So we start with the white and we're gonna do a foundation half double crochet of 48. So all that means is create a slip knot, add it to your hook. If you want um, better instructions, I have that on my YouTube channel. I will link it down below on how to create a foundation half double crochet. But you just um, chain two. And you begin your half double crochet by going into the back bump of that first chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through one. And then yarn over, pull through all three. That's our first half double crochet made. And then we're going to yarn over. And into the back here, there's two. Those two right there. We're going to go inside of those two. To create our next half double crochet so we go into there we yarn over pull up go yarn over pull through one and then pull through all three that's our second half double crochet again yarn over you turn your work like this so you can see the back and the front and you go through both and then you yarn over you pull through yarn over go through one only and then yarn over go through all three and that's how you do a foundation half double crochet yarn over go in the back pull through both yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through all three and continue to do this until you have a total of 48 half double crochets all right so I made my foundation half a double crochet row and it measures 14 right now but if you stretch it out it stretches out to 16 so 16 inches I should, I, that's what I'm saying so I'm gonna take my foundation chain and I'm gonna put it together here so I can slip stitch to that first half double crochet so make sure that it's not twisted like that and then with this little strand here we're gonna close this up when we're when when we're done with our skirt when it's time to tighten those ends so now we're gonna for row two we're gonna chain up two and we're gonna double crochet around we started with a half double but now we're gonna do double crochet so just double crochet your way around Okay, I went around with double crochets. Now I'm going to slip stitch to that first 
double crochet that I made. For round three, we're gonna do half double crochet around. So chain two and just half double crochet around. And then after this row, we're gonna switch over to our next color. So we just half, oops, I'm doing double crochet here. <laughs> Let me make sure that I made half double crochets. So half double crochet your way around. And then we'll switch colors. So I made my way back around with my half double crochet row, which is row three. Here we're gonna switch color. So we're just gonna insert our hook into that first half double crochet that we made. We're not gonna finish casting off. We're just gonna switch over to our next color. And you can do a slip knot and then insert it into your hook like so. And then pull through both. Then we'll chain up two. One, two. We'll pull on those two loose ends. And then we're gonna do, um, sorry. We're gonna do double crochet all the way around with the lavender color. And we'll hide those ends as we go. So double crochet your way around. Okay, so now we're gonna start on our increasing. So, just gonna slip stitch here. And this row we're gonna do chain two, and we're gonna do two double crochet into that first space. So, two double crochet in there. One double crochet in the next two spaces. So one here and one in the next. And then two double crochet into the next space. So two inside that same stitch. And we're gonna work this same pattern all the way around. So two, I mean one in the next two. So one double crochet in the next two spaces. Two double crochet in the next space. One double crochet into the next two spaces. And I'll meet you back around. All right, so I made my way back around. Now we should have a total of 64 um, double crochets. We started with 48 stitches. So with this increased row, we worked our way up to 64. So we're gonna cast off, I mean, not cast off, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna slit stitch here. And we're gonna do a row of just double crochet around. So double crochet in every space. All right, so now I'm going to slip stitch. And now we're going to increase again. So chain up two. We're going to add two double crochet into that first space. So one and two in the same space. One in each of the next two spaces. So one here, one in the next. Two into the next space. one in each of the next two spaces and we'll repeat this all the way around. Two in this next one. One into the next, one into the next. Two into the next. I'll meet you back around. All right, so I made my way around with my increased row. So now we have a total of 84 double crochets on this round. So we're gonna slip stitch to join. And then for the next few rows, all we're gonna do is do a double crochet around for four rows. So when you're done with these four rows of just double crochet around, you will have a total of 11 rows. So you just chain up two, and then double crochet your way around for four rows. And I'll meet you back when I'm done. All 
All right, so I made my four rows of just double crochet around. This is my, what my work looks like now. Let me just turn it around so you can see. Now we're gonna switch over to the white again. So just like we did before, we're gonna slide our hook into that first half double crochet made. And with the white, we're gonna make a slip knot, add it to our hook, and then close here. And then we will chain up two, one, two. We're gonna pull on those yarns so our hook can stay closed. And do one double crochet, right? And is it a double crochet? I'm sorry, no. Half double crochet. So this row is gonna be of just half double crochet. So half double crochet your way around while hiding those um those ends. All right, for this next row, which is row 12, I'm sorry, 13. Row 13, we're gonna do double crochet. So chain two and double crochet all the way around. Oops, that was a half double. So double crochet. All the way around. All right, so now the next row, we're almost done. <laughs> this row is just gonna be half double crochet. We have one more row after this one, which will be the reverse single crochet. And I'll show you that when I get back around with my half double crochets here. All right, so I made my way around. So now we're gonna slip stitch, like always. And we're gonna do a reverse single crochet before we do the little straps, I guess is what you might call them. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, so I'll chain up one. And then instead of going this way, I'm gonna go the opposite way. So I'm gonna take my hook and I'm gonna insert it right in here. So let me just show you. I'm gonna insert my hook in this space right here. And then I'm gonna grab my yarn, bring it up. I have two loops on my hook. And I'm gonna yarn over and go through both those loops. And that is a reverse single crochet. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna go into that space right there. I'm gonna put my hook through it bringing up the yarn and making a single crochet. So we're gonna to continue to do this all the way around. I'm gonna go into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through both. Reverse, single crochet into every space around. And try to loosen your grip so it's easy to go in the reverse. All right, so I made my way all the way back. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, remove my hook and I'm gonna put it back into this side of my work. And I'm just gonna grab the yarn and I'm gonna bring it in and just slip stitch there and I'm done with this part of the skirt just gonna cut this here so we can weave it in later I'll just show you how that reverse single crochet looks it's really pretty I love a reverse single crochet there's the skirt I should show you it's the exact same size as this one so now all we have left is the little um what do you call these? I don't even know. <laughs> Suspenders. So we're gonna begin that after we weave in all our work. So let's just weave in our work. Close this up. All right. 
it. So I'm gonna thread my needle. I'm gonna grab it like this so I can see what I'm doing. And I just wanna bring this, this yarn to this side over here. So I'm gonna put it into that space right there. Just bring it through to close that up. And then I'm gonna bring it back to this side like so and then bring it back one more time to this side and there it's closed and then we just weave that in the inside of the skirt so we're just going to go in like this through the white and then bring it back up the other way just like so And there we go. I'm gonna cut that off into the other side, which is the bottom. Again, gonna do it in the inside of the skirt. Just gonna weave it in a few times through the white. Pull on it, then bring it the other way. And one more time. That should be good enough. Cut that off. So here's the back of our skirt and now we're going to begin on the straps here and we're going to do it, we're going to start from the back and then bring it to the front. Let me just undo this so you can see it. If you hear noise behind me or you know you hear noises, they're working on the outside of my building so they're working right on my on in front of my windows <laughs> it's like a little nerve-wracking because i'm on the 18th floor so it's like i pray for them every day that they don't fall <laughs> anyway so the buttons are just sewn there and then i start my work on the opposite side which is the back side so let's start that part okay, so now we're gonna attach the um yarn to the back of the skirt to create the little um, straps here and what I did you can put them wherever you want but I just I think I counted three yeah counted three so I did one two three and on that fourth one is where I attached so that's what I'm gonna do with this one and I did double crochets for the straps so let me count again one two three and on that fourth one is where I'm gonna attach my yarn right there just gonna slip stitch. I'm gonna chain two and do a double crochet right inside that same space. And then work two more double crochets in the next two spaces. I mean, well, one and then another one in the next space. So a total of three double crochets across, like that. If you wanna make it four, you can do four, but I thought three was fine because it's small. It's for a little, little girl, so. Then I chain up two, I turn my work, and then I do double crochet again across. That's it. And you're gonna continue to do this, and I'll tell you right now how many rows I did, because I don't remember. And then remember that chain two doesn't count as a stitch, so you leave that on work. That's just so I work it look tidier. So I'm gonna continue to do that. Let's see how many rows I did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 and then I'll tell you what to do at the end. So do 28 rows of double crochet and 
once you finish that side you do the, again the, the same thing on this side so you count three right so you do one two three and you're gonna work these three so you start here one two three and then you have three on this side so you just put your hook here and you attach and you do the same exact thing on that side and I'll meet you back when I have both my straps I did both my straps I completed that one I'm just gonna show you how I finish off this one so it could be you could be able to close it on the button so I chain one I turn I half double crochet into that same space so half double crochet into that first space and then chain one and half double crochet skip the next one and then half double crochet into the last one and that's it you have your buttonhole thing <laughs> and then I'm gonna cast off here and there I have a little opening so I can be able to close it turn it back around and I have my two buttons I got some white ones so I think they're gonna clash because white on white but I don't have anything else but I just wanted to show you guys and these are small I need to get some new buttons but let me just show you with this skirt here just get your all right there you go so you get your buttons and you add them where you want to add them I crossed my straps like that and then I bring them over and I lay them down and then I, I look to see where I want to place my buttons and that's how I was able to do that and then just close it up and you sew your buttons to your work of course and that's it and to get the measurements for the little straps uh, how long I wanted to make them I looked at um, a chart for dresses for three to zero to three months and I saw the length of the dress what the inches was and I made that to make it um what what do I want to say so I made it the same length so this one is let me tell you how long it is with the straps it's about 14 inches long with the straps okay so that's how I got that measurement so that is it guys that is how you create the little skirt and don't forget I'll have the next video on the booties next um, that should be coming up in a few days so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for everybody who said yes to seeing the video to see um, how I created the skirt I appreciate you and yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and I will see you in the next video bye